So making a volumetric scene in Blender AB is damn easy. So we will just learn it in a few minutes. So let's get started. So sh first of all, we have to create a simple scene for that. So shift A and add a plane. Let's make it up like random or just put a value like 20 or 22 to make it huge. Then uh, we have to, now our ground is flat. So we have to add some random noise. So just go to the edit mode by tab and right click and subdivide it and we will put and we will put a uh, hundred value here so we will subdivide it hundred times and after that uh, switch to the sculpt mode and just do some random sculpt like this to make it a little noisy and with shift click you can smooth it so just add that kind of smooth and now go to the uh, sharing and let's just add a texture so I will put a new material and make it so and I will rename it like ground and now uh, open up the Google and find any of the ground texture that you like and just select your principal shader and if your node regular add-on is activated then you can press simply ctrl T and you can get the texture and the no no and the mapping nodes so that's simple now let's open up the texture that we downloaded so I will go to my desktop so I downloaded this texture <clears throat> and now as you can see our texture has been added but the tiling is a little off so I will go to the UV editing and let's just turn on our preview and select the UV and scale it up so it's like you can scale it random or just put a value that you like so I scale it like this let's just scale it a little more and see how it look oh so it's look fine now we have to go to the sharing and just do some simple sharing setting to make it look better so first of all I will turn on the subsurface and I will turn off also the specular so it don't make the white shine and after that I will increase the roughness so it make look rough a little and as you can see our basic texturing is done but I want a little detail so from this texture actually we can get some normal map data so I will duplicate it simply and let's just press on the two so it don't use the same texture so both the node don't use the same texture so actually the texture is now duplicated and now we can turn on this one to the non color so we don't need the color data here and just put the color to the normal map and just press shift a and add a bump node to get some bump uh, I'm sorry just add the bump node Ah, okay so this is nice uh, one more thing we need to do is we need to convert this image into uh, black and white color so for that we have to search for color ramp so this node actually convert this thing to the black and white white color so which we want uh, we need the last thing and that is uh, connecting this node to the height instead of normal so there we go as you can see we get a little bit of the height that we need and we can also uh, connect the UE map to the vector to just get the uh, same UE map okay so now we are done with it now uh, let's just add some trees so for trees you can visit any of the free websites so I am uh, I'm using Spe uh, sketchfab here so from sketchfab you can download any tree model so here is the free one it's called tree set but i would don't want to download it because recently you guys uh, heard a news about a sketchfab add-on so uh, like now you can uh, import your 3d model into your blender scene easily with just one click in inside blender so you have to download the sketchfab add-on and just simply install it with going to the preference add-on and install the add-on that you have so i will put a link in the description so you can download it from there now let's just go to the sketchfab and uh, after here you have to activate it so i already log in it so if now i click on activate then i will get the user okay so just uh, search here the same model so i will search for tree set and after some time i will get this thing and the model i need uh, i need this one okay so i just import this one and make them import model and just wait some time and it will you will get the quick results okay so now we download it and it uh, imported directly but the scale is a little huge so I will scale it down like this 
okay so i don't need uh, a lot of fees i just need this one maybe we can use this one because it's, it's the tallest one and actually for this scene i need a little tall tree so that's like it so i will deselect uh, this one and we will delete the the remaining one okay so now we get this tree well just put it down because i have to uh, let's just join this first with control j okay <clears throat> so just grab it a little down and i will put this tree uh, in the particle system that we need so we have to put the particle system here so just go here uh, I'm sorry here and add a new particle system and it will be a here particle and going to the advance and after that we have to go to the uh, render and then instead of path you have to choose an object and then you can select the object that you want so I will put this one and as you can see it's added but it's opposite so we have to rotate the tree in edit mode so i will rotate this one to 180 degree and let's just grab it grab it in the y axis and make this one up uh, like this so it has been added but i want i don't want it on all of the plane so i just want it in a certain place and i also want to increase the size a bit so from here you can increase the size so it will be like this also i don't need a uh, hundred number of trees so i will just decrease the amount so i will make this 100 and let's just a little increase a little more the uh, here length so i will make this like 4.5.4 maybe uh yeah this looks fine and i will go uh, turn on also the rotation so we need that actually okay so now we have to tell uh, to tell to the ground that where you have to put the trees so it's like random now but we want it in a center uh, in a certain place so for that we have to wait paint it so just uh, move to the layout tab go to the blender uh, change the object mode to the weight paint and let's just do some simple painting so I will decrease the weight a little and I will just put it something like this so that's like where we need the trees okay so I will just paint it and make the, uh, the strength and you can play with the values and I simply need it like here okay so that's enough and we'll just do it roughly so that, that's enough and now you have to go to the particle setting <coughs> and <coughs> here you have to go down uh, to the uh, to the vertex group actually and here in density you can put the group so as you can see it's now switches to where you need actually the the trees you want okay and we need one more thing that all of the tree are with the same uh, size so we don't need it so let's just randomize the scale a little so it's like that now so that's what we need so after that we need some bushes here so we will do the same thing we will go to the uh, we will press the n and go to the sketch web add-in and just search here for bushes so i will search for bush and then and then choose any bush you want so i would like to choose this one and let's just import it and there we have so it's you just uh, picks the scaling so i will scale it down like this and i will move it uh, around here and now let's just add a second uh, particle setting so i will name this one to the trees and i will add another one and this one will be bushes so do the same stuff change the values like i am doing make them object and just pick up the bush so it's added again we need to change up the uh, rotation issue okay so just play with the values and until you like it and also you can uh, again add a weight paint here so it's like where do you need this thing uh, 
I will add a second rope and it will be uh, the bushes and now let's just wait paint this so I need bushes like here just like this randomly so now I will go to the object mode again go to the particles particle setting go to the vertex rope and select the bushes one so now we have the bushes there so let's just uh, see what we have in the uh, viewport shading okay so it's like this now now we have to add a camera and for that uh, shift a and add a camera and let's just make a view here so I like this view so I like this view and now we have to do the lighting stuff so one more thing I would like to add is the moon that we have in the reference so let's just add a UV spare and make it around here uh, so move it like here and let's just smooth it and make it backward here so it's a moon so we have to do the shading uh, let's just add a new material make this one moon and go here to the material and just change this one to the emission shader and let's just see what we have in the EV so it will look flat like this but don't worry we will fix it soon so first of all just increase the strength uh, to around some random values like 18 now let's just see if it look fine or not so it look fine for now and go to the uh, environment setting here and let's make the background a little more dark and maybe a little to the bluish color so it looked like night now so now again go to the solid solid view and press shift s and make the cursor to the selected so we have to, uh, the cursor here and now here i want to add a sun so for lighting i have to add a sun so let's just add a sun you can add any light you can also use the area light or the spotlight maybe some you some people use the spotlight but here i have uh, i think like uh, this will work very good with sun so let's just put this here So now go to the EV and go to the camera and let's just see how does it look. So it looked like this. I just rotate it a little and now let's just turn uh, make this value to about 5. So we got the strength. Now we are ready to do the volumetric lighting. So for that I have to change this one to the word setting and just make this uh, this node here and I will just simply add one more node that is called volume scatter so I will use the volume scatter node I will uh, decrease the density to about 0 0.010 so it's like this and let's just leave this value uh, for the default and let's just pick up some this color and add this one to the shader so now as you can see the magic things happen it's like we add the volume okay so a few more things that we need that as you can see our moon is bright but it's not shining it don't have the blue so let's just turn on some setting here so I will turn off the MV negligion first let's just uh, move to the solid so we don't get any crash so I will turn on these options and you can leave these values by default it's fine and just turn on the screen space reflection uh, some motion blur and also turn on the volumetric shadows leave the values by default turn on the high uh, bit depth so it's also helpful and in the color management you have to make this one a little high contrast and leave the rest of it at is it oh, okay so now let's see what we get so if we go to uh, the render view uh, it look like this okay so as you can see we are getting all of the rays that we need so uh, the final thing I add here was the Batman so I search I search for uh, 
so just search for bad png and pick any of the image that you want and just copy it and import it so just add the bed to some random places and this is how it will look i just uh, create the eyes with knife tool and then edit a simple shader like emission shader and with having uh, a random values like 8 so you can do that and that's the final result hope you guys like it and hope you guys learn something new so put a like if you learn something new if not then just leave it and thanks for watching bye